My name is Chris Peterson. I'm the director of the Product Center, Food, Ag, Bio at Michigan State University. Uh, we offer a lot of different services to both existing businesses and brand new entrepreneurs that want to take a new product or service idea to market in the arenas of food, ag, and the bioeconomy. We have a portfolio of services and essentially the client uh, gets to pick and choose what kind of services do they really want to have. Let's say the client has merely an idea for a new product or a new business. We start that client out on a process of defining their business concept. So we really think about how is that idea truly innovative in the marketplace? Is the client, in fact, ready to be the entrepreneur for the business? And finally, is there a market opportunity out there? In other words, are there other people who would look at the product or think about the service and say, yeah, I really want to buy this new product or service. Now once a client has a concept definition, then a decision needs to be made about moving that concept forward toward the marketplace. And the first set of services that go along with that process we call venture fundamentals. And this is where the client really begins to do his or her first business planning putting together some more specific ideas about how are you going to market the product, how are you going to produce it, how are you going to distribute it, where's the money going to come from ultimately, and do we really have enough profit opportunity in this idea to make a full-fledged examination of the idea really work. Now for some smaller businesses, once they have this initial business plan in place, they may very well be able to go directly to the market. But oftentimes, business ideas take more than just fundamentals. They also need specialized services, and that's the third level in our product and service portfolio. Essentially, within the specialized service arena, we do a lot of things like testing the product. In most food products, you in fact need a label, and that label has to provide a very specific kinds of nutritional and component information about the product. But also, a, a client may need a full-fledged feasibility study if they're, for example, going to build a new plant. So under the category of specialized services, there are many, many things that we might do uh, on a client's behalf, but each and every one of those things will be very tailored to what the needs of the client are. And then our final tier of service uh, is for the client who has already launched their product into the marketplace and now they're faced with some of the issues related to uh, growth of the product, uh, a more uh, detailed information about the follow-on kind of marketing that will be needed to uh, sustain and grow the market for that product over time. Now one of the things I want to emphasize is that although we have a, a marvelous staff both on campus in the product center and we have 18 innovation counselors spread across the state of Michigan to work with clients, we don't always have the information or the skill that the particular client needs. But then we reach out to others here at Michigan State University, both in terms of uh, faculty members and various kinds of specialists that are hired by the university to help those clients, and we also go beyond the university to work with a number of different uh, private consultants and private service providers. So if we're working with a client, we ultimately want to be able to put them in touch with whatever they need to move that idea to market.